Just a moment ago, the mantis shrimp was still mating, and in the next instant, it has transformed into a fragrant grilled mantis shrimp on a hot charcoal grill, enough to make anyone want to find a partner immediately. Let's explore the journey of this king of the ocean floor to the dining table. The mantis shrimp, scientifically known as Squilla mantis, is also called the horse shrimp and has a long history. They have existed since the Jurassic period, about 400 million years ago, and have changed little over time, so they are considered living fossils of the ocean. Despite having the word shrimp in their name, mantis shrimp are not part of the common shrimp group. They belong to the class of crustaceans in the order Stomatopoda. Mantis shrimp may appear gentle and cute, but behind that exterior lies an incredibly aggressive nature. With their refined combat skills, they are unafraid to bully other creatures on the ocean floor. Not only do snails and clams fear them, but even crabs and lobsters also keep their distance when facing these warriors. With a long and narrow tubular body, the mantis shrimp is entirely covered by a sturdy, protective shell. Their round compound eyes, equipped with up to six rows of small eyes on each side, allow them to observe their surroundings with remarkable precision. Additionally, mantis shrimp have a unique burrow-dwelling lifestyle, often preferring to dig holes in sandy or muddy seabeds in shallow waters. With remarkable ambush skills, they quickly pull any unsuspecting prey into their burrow as soon as it approaches. It can be said that mantis shrimp can feast without leaving home. However, once this behavior was discovered by humans, mantis shrimp went from predator to prey. Hunters dive into the waters where they live, observing the size and shape of the burrow entrance to identify their dwellings. They then place a small fishing rod with baited fish at the entrance. With superior strength but simple instincts, mantis shrimp find it hard to resist the temptation of food, and within minutes, they are caught. Ultimately, they become a delicious delicacy on people's tables. When catching a mantis shrimp, you need to be careful. No matter how tempting it is as a delicacy, protecting your fingers is essential. If you encounter a brightly colored mantis shrimp that resembles an underwater peacock, think twice before you try to catch it. Known scientifically as the peacock mantis shrimp, this creature can grow between 16 and 20 centimeters and prefers hiding in coral crevices and rocky cavities. Not only can it see things invisible to other animals, but it also communicates with others of its kind by adjusting polarized light. It's also called the underwater boxing champion because its strikes when attacking prey are as fast as a bullet, making it difficult for cameras to capture. With this strength, the mantis shrimp can easily break the shells of other marine creatures to get to the meat inside. It has a playful temperament, often attacking crabs, lobsters, and even teasing octopuses making it a nightmare for many underwater creatures thanks to its powerful claws. Some experiments show that mantis shrimp can easily break human fingers, damage sensors, and even shatter glass. In the past, mantis shrimp were only found in the ocean, and fishermen could only catch them during certain times of the year. After a winter of storing up energy, they become especially plump and flavorful. However, harvesting mantis shrimp is no easy feat requiring fishermen to set out early in the morning, braving rough seas and fierce winds to bring in their catch. The journey to catch mantis shrimp at sea is both challenging and thrilling. It takes more than an hour to reach the fishing grounds, and for anyone setting sail for the first time, seasickness is almost inevitable. Mantis shrimp usually live at depths between 10 and 60 meters, and according to the fishermen, the bigger the waves, the larger the catch. In this area, where mud meets sand, the abundance of food means the mantis shrimp here are both plump and large. The nets used to catch mantis shrimp are quite special, stretching up to 1.8 kilometers. Although machines provide some assistance, fishermen still have to put all their strength into slowly pulling the nets in. Unlike regular fishing nets, mantis shrimp nets are long and narrow, with small, dense mesh. When the shrimp come out of hiding to feed, they easily get caught entangled as if trapped by a master's hand, unable to escape and eventually surrendering. Once the net is fully pulled up onto the deck, each mantis shrimp is carefully removed 
by the fishermen, avoiding the sharp claws. Only those that meet size standards are placed in baskets, while the smaller ones are returned to the ocean to continue growing. Every step reflects the skill of these experienced fishermen, who not only harvest but also conserve the mantis shrimp population for the future. They have turned this work into a way of life, bound to the scent of the sea and the sound of waves crashing in the distant ocean. During the transportation process, some mantis shrimp unfortunately do not survive. When visiting the market and seeing a few dead shrimp still on display, have you ever wondered whether these shrimp are safe to eat? Fresh mantis shrimp typically have a bright, shiny appearance and a distinctive green shell. If the shrimp have just died, their shells remain fresh and vibrant, and the flesh feels firm to the touch, so it can be consumed without worry. However, if the shrimp have been dead for a while, turning pink or even blackening, it's best to be cautious, as they may produce histamine, which can lead to food poisoning. After sorting, the mantis shrimp that buyers purchase are transported to nearby cities. Another portion goes to the processing factory. Here, diligent workers carefully remove any dead shrimp and wash them thoroughly. Next, the shrimp are placed in trays and sent into a large steaming machine. In just 10 minutes at high temperatures, the shrimp are cooked through and any harmful bacteria are eliminated. Once they emerge from the steamer, the shrimp are immediately submerged in ice water to lock in their fresh flavor and firm up their texture. Subsequently, some of the shrimp are taken to the peeling area, where skilled workers deftly remove the shells and package the shrimp meat for sale. Each step in this process is not just a task, but a fascinating experience, from sorting to preparation, culminating in the delicious dishes we love. And of course, anyone who enjoys mantis shrimp knows that peeling them can be a laborious task, but the reward of savoring their incredible taste makes it all worthwhile. In recent years, the rising demand for mantis shrimp has led many fishermen to adopt artificial farming methods to meet market needs. The first step in this process is securing high-quality shrimp stock. Fishermen carefully and patiently select breeding stock, particularly female shrimp that have already mated, chosen from previous catches in the wild. This process requires meticulous attention and a deep understanding of the mantis shrimp's natural habitat. Once selected, the female shrimp are placed in an artificial environment designed to accurately replicate natural conditions, allowing them to reproduce and grow. As a result, the next generation of mantis shrimp not only inherits strong genetics, but also thrives in an ideal environment to meet growing market demand. This model represents not only a sustainable solution, but also a testament to innovation in aquaculture, providing a stable income source for fishermen while ensuring a consistent, high-quality supply for consumers.